tutorial heads, Zoe here, and welcome back to our channel. As you know, we created a new body mesh with creator Deadly Sin, and today we're going to teach you how to actually create that mesh. Buckle up, it's going to be a long one. There are a lot of things to cover, and it's going to be a five part series. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. For this first part, we're going to go over topology, which is going to teach you how to clean up those mesh lines. So without further ado, we're going to kick it off to Deadly Sin. Okay, welcome guys. This is a um, tutorial on making a body shape. We'll be working on a male shape, but this should work for any shape on any of you, even a female one. It's the same techniques, the same things, everything is the same. I'm just tired of always making videos with female bodies, so this time I'm actually using a male body. So I'm just gonna copy here a version so we can see um, how it's gonna look like in the future after we change. Just remove the physique, make a copy, and it should look like exactly like mine. So. The first thing we're going to do is called the cleanup. I like the, it's when we are going to remove those um, triangles, which is something normal. You can use qualify all like I'm showing right now. It's an okay technique, but sometimes the angle, it's not very accurate. So I rather do it manually in this case, because there's some parts that I want to keep triangle, for example, around the breasts and stuff. So to do it manually, First, I want to talk a, lot, a little bit about what I talk about about cleanup. So we're going to go on unwrap. We're going to click on this symbol over here. And we're going to put whose custom bitmap shape and put 512, which is the default uh, EM view size. We're going to take this off, so the check markers, and now we can see the, 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 UV, the UV map as it is. So as you can see here, you have those little triangles and those triangles, it's what we are going to try to clean. Those little triangles right there. So you can see what we want is those quad faces, which is the square I'm marking right now. This is exactly what we're looking for. We want to have those four uh, edges or uh, polygons straight there. It's, it's what we're looking for. As you can see, we can, we can select here as well and start getting a sense for it. And then we can just go and edit the poly with the selection here and we should have the selection in here as well. It's a way to work as well. But we're not going to work this way. We're going to do it manually, 100%, just looking at the mesh and just making it fit right. The first thing you should put in your mind is don't worry about how it looks right now, just worry about, about making it straight. So I'm going to start here, we select you can see um, I'm using constraints here. So if you constrain to the edge, it means that if I move this vertex now, it will stay in the line. But as you can see here, when I move this up, is why I'm doing this, it destroyed the, the, the base texture. So that's why we want to keep those key points into place. So we don't have to have too much to worry about when uh, we put this on Envy, when people use their own skins and stuff, so it will work fine. So, we're just going to look at it, we're going to select edges, we're going to select them, and make sure you work symmetry. I always select on one side and the other one. Just like so. And then to delete, we hold control backspace. That's the safe way to delete, so it deletes the vertexes as well. So remember, control and backspace. So now let's have a look over here. So I'm now looking at this line over here. And that edge over here can go and then I make another one just right there. So this is the idea, is to make straight lines out of those quads, even if you have to build your own lines. And that's totally fine. You can make lines in there. It will not destroy the texture. So I'm going to select those both sides. And right now what I'm going to go is I'm going to show you um, a way to do this. It's we're going to ring, not loop. But I'm showing you can loop as well. So we're going to ring here. 
and now with the ring I'm gonna click on connect which is this button that I'm about to show there you go so now when we click on connect it's gonna create an edge on the selected uh, edges we have we can put more than one edge obviously but I'm just gonna the default should give you only one and now to finish the tip we need to connect to the rest of the edge which we will select this two vertexes and then we click on connect this option right on the bottom here and voila we start getting our uh, first line or first line of quads and um, now we're gonna start playing around here in the middle I'm gonna delete those but as you can see there's like a little how can I say a little triangles was in there it was really a lot of triangles there for no reason and now we have a little bit more clean now so this is the ab area which you can pull later to make a belly or define more so I'm here yeah, I'm showing you how you can do it for example you can just oh make sure you take the constraints off as you can see you could just pull and this is already part of the modeling just showing you already some tips that's why sometimes you want to keep some shapes as you can see a simple tweak in here and we would already get a belly there if you were looking for that so uh, in the cleanup process it's normal if you want to model a little bit but in this case we're just going to control z everything we're going to do it slowly so everyone can catch up so now we're going to work on those two edges there so same process select them and control backspace same same story all the time now look at this mess so what we want to do we want to kind of follow the flow of the the edge there oops i lost my um, my measure over here i'm gonna press z to get it back and uh i'm gonna do a little bit here of uh explanation which is thick <laughs> So this is what we're trying to do here. It's making those quad face like I explained earlier. And um, sometimes we can have those triangles like there. It's it's fine to have that because he has is part of the the stretching area over there. Even under the arms, you should have some kind of. Now this this is uh, not necessarily good. This is a lot of um, called a star. So he has a lot of uh, edges coming out of one point. And that can ruin your skinning and can be hard to work with uh, deformations and etc so you should always be working for those straight lines but even if when you upload on uh, mview mview automatically puts a square in the middle a, a, a edge in the middle and, and cuts your cards into triangles but when you're working you should always have them in quads so let's keep cleaning up the process is going to be always the same over and over again so it's a tedious process but uh it's rewarding as you can see here we can already see what's happening here for some reason that edge is, is like crossing with the other edge so we just is easy fix right here we could just make it straight instead of uh, going all the way crazy and I'm gonna show you now here is a new tool called cut it's very useful for this so what this does it literally cuts on the mesh uh, an edge a line you want so for example you click here and click here or you can click from there to there automatically creates the dot in the middle and you could have just click on the middle part if you would like to but uh, there you go now we create a straight line we can delete that as you can see here we have like a little dot there a simple simple move there and everything got already more straight and beautiful as you can see here when I move the texture moves so be careful not to move those as part you can fix them in the UV map that's true but that would be a lot of work and it's better to just leave the key uh, points in there since we're modeling the shape anyway so so you can see another line over here goes all the way up there to the other side so basically this triangle that opens in here it's not needed so we can just literally cut just straight through so left click and then Q to this to get out of the cut tool and there we go now we can delete those 
And this is how we start facing Gamesh, uh, one by one. Now this flow that comes from here and goes all the way into there. So this is a, something more complicated to fix here. So maybe we, we should leave it because it's actually not harmful. It's actually correct in some ways because of the deformations. So we're going to select and delete those as well. And as you can see now, the process is always the same process over and over again. So really no much um, change in it. So I'm just going to keep uh, clean up and that's it. Just keep watching and I'm going to show you some more hard parts. Uh, there's not much else to say. It's just pretty much me um, cleaning up so you can see uh, so how I fix some areas.
deadly sin. So that's part one. To watch part two, click here <laughs> um, as we continue to show you how to create a body mesh and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment below to tell us what you think. Bye guys.